up till about now, I have been pretty much anti Mighty Morphin because brands like Hasbro, previously Saban, milk this uh, original season of Power Rangers to the bone. Even though it was the first season I watched and the first season I I fell in love with when it came to Power Rangers, I did not like Mighty Morphin for the life of me. But a year ago, I started reading the Power Rangers comics, which further expands on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers story, and that's when I started to like Mighty Morphin again. And this, once and always, further made me love the OGs again. Um, it made me want to go back and watch Mighty Morphin again. Um, so, yeah, today we're going to be talking about Power Rangers once and always, and this was truly something wonderful. A love letter to Power Rangers fans, and just something that... I'm going to get into it in this video, but yeah. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a video or go live on this video channel. Leave down in the comments below if you think Billy is going to be in college with Fury. Leave it down in the comments below because I want to know how to have a conversation and debate with you guys. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Remember, you're in the zone, the super zone. Cue intro. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Superheroes 101 where the superheroing is never done. My name's Xavier Lee. For those of you who don't know me, and I'll be your host. And y'all already know what we're doing based off of the beginning of the video, but y'all already know what we were doing because I posted a community post yesterday talking about how I was gonna do a review video for Once and Always. So yeah, Once and Always is a love letter to Power Rangers. Loved it so much. I love how we respected Trini Kwan in this because this was very much surrounded around Min, Trini Kwan, um, and I really love how they handled it. Um, her her death scene though really hit me hard. Um, yeah, it really hit me hard. But it it felt I felt great to know that she had a beautiful daughter, uh, Min, that she was very close to, um, and Min will forever remember her because the morpher when Min became a ranger uh, reminded her of all the memories that um, her mom experience as a ranger it kept all those memories inside of the morpher and then when she had locked it she got those memories and she gets to live with her mom not live with her mom she she gets to live those memories of her mom inside of her and know that her mom is always with her so yeah that that felt really great for me i loved that i really did um and yeah i give this special right off the bat a 10 out of 10 uh i'm on a nostalgia trip right now um i'm like on cloud nine it was really great i loved it I loved it so very much. Um, I love how we paid homage to different 90s aspects of Power Rangers, different Power Rangers teams. I love I love Robo Rita. Robo Rita was a jerk in this special because every time Min, when Min was fighting her, she was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna get to destroy you like I destroyed your mom, but it replaced destroy with kill." Like, and she was saying kill and like literally. And it was it like I love how we had a devious villain right a villain that she is hateable um voiced by barbara Good goodson i'm so glad she came back and i'm so glad the voice actor for um alpha came back because hearing his voice was absolutely fantastic and i know i'm on the younger side but like i watched mighty more from first like everybody else this is a part of my growing up as well and seeing these iconic characters back just made me feel so good i love all the nuggets and easter eggs they had to other seasons and stuff um, it just made me feel so good. This is set in 2023, but here's the thing. We don't know when it's occurring. I think it's when the Cosmic Fury Rangers go up into space and are doing their thing. Um, which leads me into my next point. At the end of the special, they were talking about how Billy was going to go on a space travels because he misses it. And Adam and Aisha were offering him a chance to go with the SBA, right? And speaking of SBA, we're going to get to him a little bit later in this discussion. Um... But yeah, uh, Billy is like, I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to space, but before I get there, I have to do a little things around, uh, Krantz's technologies. And did I mention that he has a whole technology company now and developed cloaking tech for the SPA ships and different Ranger tech? That is absolutely fantastic. He built that command center, which makes me think the Hyperforce logo that is on the command center. I wonder if that's what inspires the Hyperforce logo to become to be, because this happens in 2023, and then Hyperforce happens in the years 33, 17, 30, 17, and 3018. So yeah, that's something to think about. Um, yeah, Billy is all grown up. Everybody is all grown up. I loved Walter Emmanuel Jones as Zach. 
he was the dad to Min in this situation, even though he was technically the uncle. He was the he was like her dad. And the way he took her in after her mom passed was absolutely fantastic. Super like I just it just felt so good, you know? I love how he didn't leave her alone. I like how he didn't let her go through the foster system and just took her in as her own. As his own. I said that weird. But yeah. Um Billy, Zach they stole the show. They did absolutely fantastic. Men took it away. Cats took it away. Rocky took it away. Everybody did absolutely fantastic in this film. And I feel like this this is a beginning of something new for Power Rangers. And if they do specials for like every season, that would be absolutely fantastic. Because I love how it was specifically catered to Mighty Morphin. Though there were references to other seasons, it was for Mighty Morphin right at first i thought it was going to be wrapping up the mighty morphin story but it's not it's continuing it on with billy going into space possibly to meet up with the cosmic fury rangers and the cosmic fury uh uh show um and then we have spa with adam park and aisha campbell um them talking about the trubian empire and the their opposing threat in the uh trubian galaxy right and uh, I love these different references and cameos. Um, Catherine raising JJ, and JJ becomes a SPD Ranger. And as we get closer to that SPD 2025 time date, right, different things keep going to, coming to pass. Dino Fury had the Rafconians um, coming to Earth at the very end of it, and the SPA is coming in talking about the Tribune Empire, which is Emperor, Emperor Grum, Morgana, and all of them. Right, so I wonder what they're gonna do in the actual year 2025 to pay homage to that since SPD obviously already happened. I wonder if they're gonna do like a future future season featuring JJ or whatever they're gonna do. I'm just super excited for that. SPA is super amazing. Um, I don't know what it stands for. I'm saying Space Patrol Academy because there's a comic book series call coming out called Space Patrol Academy. So maybe that's what it's for. Uh, but yeah, I just want to say that I also loved how they took out proper voice clips for Jason, Kim, uh, Trini, and, um, Tommy. Um, that was absolutely fantastic. And then for Tommy and, uh, for JDF and, um, Twee, they did a, they did a, uh, memorial at the end of the episode, which was very great with one of Kimberly's songs. Um, that made me tear up. And every scene talking about Trini's death, where the music got super soft and low, that that definitely got to me. Like, it really, really did. Like, ugh. I just wish she was here. I wish they were both here. It sucks that they're both gone, but their memory will not be forgotten. So, yeah, I loved this special. Like, I'm all over the place. I'm probably going to miss something. I don't care. Let's talk about the Zord battle. The Zord battle was definitely a homage to the 1995 Power Rangers movie. Um, the CGI was good for Power Rangers, but let's just say this wasn't Power Rangers and that Zord battle happened in Marvel. If it was Marvel, people would be flaming it and yelling at it online. But, like, for Power Rangers, it was very good. Don't get... Let, let, let's, let's clear that up right now. I really like the Zord battle. The CGI is getting better. Um, and I hope in the future we'll have more realistic CGI Zor battles. So, yeah, I love the Zor design. And one thing, speaking of design, I wish Min's uh, Yellow Ranger costume was had a skirt on it. And here's why: because I wish that it deviated from Trini's original suit, even though she was becoming her mom's Ranger color, if that makes sense, and passing down her mom's legacy. I wish her suit had a skirt on it. Because Min is not like Izzy, where she doesn't like skirts. Like, she was wearing a dress early on in the episode. I just wish she had a skirt to differentiate her, differentiate her costume from the um, uh, from her mom's costume. Um, her helmet is slightly different, if you pay attention, um, than her um, mom's suit. And, yeah. Uh, did I mention that Robo Reader was a jerk? She was a very much a jerk in this episode because she was talking about how when Min was fighting her in order to get revenge for her mom right she was like "Ooh, i'm gonna get to destroy you on the same day i destroyed your mother and i'm just like that's why she got stabbed in the back by billy and we got to talk about that the rangers were actually using their weapons in this special because rangers don't use their weapons that hard right billy stabbed her in the chest the rangers destroyed her point blank and i'm just like these rangers mean business right rocky rocky stabbed minotaur 
Like, bruh, Jason had ne did never did that with his with his weapons. Let's be clear. Let's be clear here. That was absolutely fan fan freaking fantastic. I love this special. There'll be more theory videos coming out in the future based off of the special once I watch it like six more times. Um, but yeah, uh, Buzz Blast was in this with Annie. I love that little reference, that little nugget, and I hope they bring back Buzz Blast for the future seasons and just make that the Power Rangers social media network and how uh, power people in the Power Rangers universe just get their news and stuff because I love how Annie was in Angel Grove reporting on that. I thought that was really cool. I love Min's journey throughout this episode to becoming the Yellow Ranger and how... Uh, she has she learned how that she had to be selfless in order to do it and not be revenge filled because every time she was filled with revenge and hate she could not morph um, I love that portion uh, and this one more thing I just want I just think that we're leading into the direction of MMPR Rangers handing down their powers to their uh, mentees or uh, predecessors um, because you know the the actors are getting older and I just feel like we're, we're get going in that realm, especially since JDF is no longer here. I feel like JD, uh, uh, JJ in this universe is going to get the Green Ranger powers, right? And stuff like that. Um, who knows? It could happen. Uh, but, yeah. Sorry that this review was very, like, you know, stuttery and stop and go. But, yeah. Comment down below your favorite part of this uh, special. I went everywhere. I tried to cover everything. Um, oh, special effects. Let's talk about that really fast. I love the special effects. Um, the teleportation was fantastic. The morphing was absolutely fantastic. It made me melt. It made me feel. <sighs> love the CGI and the special effects. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, and everybody's performance was absolutely fantastic. Barbara Goodson as Rita, the, act the voice actor who plays Alpha. Everybody played the heck out of their characters. Speaking of characters, one last thing for real this time. Um, uh, let's talk about how Robo Rita came into be. So basically, Billy was trying to get Zordon back because during the Z Wave, um, when all everything was purified and Andrew slashed Zordon's energy tube, um, his particles were scattered everywhere. And Billy was trying to reform his particles back together when really I think Zordon is like a void like dimension where he can't communicate with anybody, similar to how he was in Shattered Grid, right? But instead of assembling um, his particles, he got Rita's. Her spirit came in and like possessed Alpha 8 and then turn and she turned Alpha 8's body into her own body, which was absolutely genius thought of play and absolutely crazy to think about. Um, which makes me think if they bring Zordon back, could he possibly have a physical form? Who knows? Um, but yeah, which and Billy at the end of this special was like, oh, I'm gonna keep trying to bring Zordon back. And I am super excited to see where that storyline is going to get us. Maybe it's going to take us to other planets because he did mention Miranoi. We did get Aquatara reference. And those are places of technology and where he could get the technology and the know-how and maybe the magic to help him do that. So, yeah. Anyway, that was my review. Sorry it was everywhere. 10 out of 10, once and always. And yeah. Thanks for watching this video. If you like, it, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you're gonna every time I post a mirror or live on this very channel. Leave down in the comments below if you think Billy is going to be in Cosmic Fury or, and or if Min is going to be in Cosmic Fury. Leave down in the comments below because I want to know how a conversation and debate with you guys. Make sure that you follow my Instagram and TikTok for the most exclusive superheroes one-on-one -on -one content. And yeah, guys, I will be posting more theories about this. Once and always, absolutely fantastic. And now that once and always is over, I'm going to get back to my Dino Fury reviews before Cosmic of Fury comes out because I committed to reviewing every episode of season two so yeah let's look for it for that and yeah if you want more power rangers content or all around superhero fan of really content you're gonna have to wait to make this video and remember you be kai let's ride it's morphin time <laughs>